Do you know that for most people it is the most? It is the least. There are certain things that will come up in the course of the job that we did not expect to come up, but when it shows up, we expect you to pick it up. The reward, write this down, for doing your job is your salary. So has the organization been rewarding you? Yes. Where did you? Brought together, eh? So, big question. Is promotion the reward for doing your job? No. I can't hear you now. No. Okay, we agree, Abby. Yes. Can I have two volunteers, two guys, two very physically fit guys? Okay. Two guys. Okay. <laughs> Wait, they said his feet. What's your own? Now, now, Joshua and Alex are going to run a relay. The way they do it in professional relays. Right? The way they do it in professional relays. So you will run the first leg. So let you go over there. This is your button. Right? And you will run Alex the second leg. So stay here. <laughs> Now, the, the way they were shouting, Alex, it means that, that you know what to do. Now, the way they do it in professional release, right, he's going to run. Now, don't run, just jog slowly, right, in a relay. And he's going to pass the button to Alex. I am particular about the transition when he's giving you the button, the way they do it in professional release, right? And I want you guys to observe what is about to happen, right? Are you ready? Remember I said don't run, jog slowly, right? Joshua, are you ready? On your marks. Audience, watch. <laughs> right? Get set. Go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Please put your hands together for For the position is handed to you, the position for the next level, you should already be in motion before it is given to you. So is promotion the reward for staying on the same role? No. Promotion is the reward for demonstrated next level performance. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that? You must already be acting as though you are on the road before you are rewarded with the role. <laughs> I said promotion is the reward for demonstrated next level performance. So you cannot just be doing your job and expecting. Nobody is impressed by what they expect. Did you hear what I said? I expect you to do your job, so why should I be impressed? If I tell you that I'm coming to see you at 12, and then I show up at 12, will you be shocked and say, eh, you came? <laughs> So how do you expect to impress decision makers by doing what they expect? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why those extra things outside the job are important. We have this project we're working on. We need a team of people to execute on a bankwide initiative and you take on that role. Yes, you will get our attention. Somebody resigns. Right, that maybe your team lead resigns from that position, and then you take on the responsibility as though nobody resigned. When I worked in Guarantee Trust Bank, there's a gentleman, he's the current MD of Guarantee Trust Bank Ghana. We entered the bank the same period, we were in training school the same period. Some of our peers report to people that report to him. 
we were in class together, but indeed not everybody in your class is your classmates. How did this guy excel in his career? I'll tell you, because I know his story perfectly. This guy was a, I remember he was a banking officer in his department. His boss, direct boss, resigned. Between him and the group head was God knows how many levels. And the group head was an AGM. This guy stepped into his orgasm shoes, the guy who resigned. For the period he was in that department, we did not find it. We did not get a replacement for, for his boss. Because the way he took on those roles. I remember then, I was in the head office. He was in a branch. And some, from time to time, I'll see him come to the head office. I'll say, ah, John, what are you doing? I say, oh, I'm going to see the MD. Or then he was a DMD. And I'll say, ah, why are you going to see him? And he'll say, well, there's this approval that we need to get as a department. My boss was afraid to go and meet the MD to ask him for approval. So I said, Oga, oh here am I. Send me. So I decided to take the, 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 the approval and go and defend it myself. This was a regular team member taking on that quality of responsibility. Now take note, he's going to defend this particular thing with the, with the key decision maker in the organization. And he's having that quality of conversation. Why would that guy forget him? Whereas you, we say, go to so and so person's office. Ah. <laughs> or we say, you know what? You are the one who will deliver the presentation for us in front of the management. Ah, they've been looking for how to fire me. <laughs> now. <laughs> I'm telling you, these are, these, are, these are key secrets that people miss out on. See, let me tell you, eh? life is about impression. See, performance is good, though. I'm telling you, but life is about impression. I remember when I walked in the bank, there was a group of people that would sit and discuss everybody's appraisal for promotion. And those things, when they call your name, the question is, what impression does your name create? In those moments, it's not necessarily what is the quality of work. Is that, would they say, you know, you know when you, have you ever searched for a file on your computer and it's not there? What, what does that thing tell you? File not found. So when they mention your name, are they, are they searching, searching? <laughs> I don't know him, searching. Eh? I don't know. <laughs> Do you understand? Or when they, when they mention your name, it resonates with an impression that you have made. Ah, it's not that guy that. Ah. Good guy, good guy. This is how people's destinies are decided. For you, I say, no, let me just stay in my own. My own. You must take on more. You must. You must, you must do more. If you want to excel in this institution, in your professional life, this is the way things work. Do we understand? Yes. Final thing I'm going to say in this regard or here is what is the future that you see for yourself in your professional life? You cannot write this down. You cannot feature in a future that you have not pictured. You cannot feature in a future that you have not pictured. My point is, you might be a low level staff, I don't know what cadre you are, but is that all you see for yourself? Or have you imagined yourself in a larger, bigger, and more influential role. Have you seen that? Have you defined when that will happen for yourself? Or you, are, you know what I notice with most people is they're just going with the flow. Every day, resume. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Close. Resume. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No plan, no vision, no aspiration, nothing. Ask them where they see themselves next three, four years, 
they have nothing to communicate. In fact, it's when you ask them the question, they are now thinking about it. Eh, well, actually, uh, really, because before then, nothing. Nothing. And I'm telling you, that quality of intention will condition your behavior today. You will recognize that when that person is shouting, that thing is a distraction. My vision is what is important to me. What you're saying is too small. I must comport myself to conduct my affairs a certain way because of what I have in sight. That's what I see. What I see. Where do you see yourself? It doesn't just happen. You must create it. You must. You know, when you create it, I'm telling you, you will re it regulates your behavior. Because you see, you see a future that you have. You know, when I worked in the bank, we had, um, we, we had contract staff, right? Um, people who, so to speak, were not, they obviously weren't, weren't paid as much as, you know, full-time staff and all of that, right? And um, there was a way sometimes they saw themselves, right? And the way they saw themselves affected the way they carried themselves. What they failed to realize was that the way they carried themselves determined how they were assessed. Just didn't know. But there were a few exceptions. And very practical stories, I can tell you practical people who were exceptions. I remember when I joined the bank, I met a gentleman. And after my interaction with him, my conclusion was that guy was a manager. Guess what? He was a contract staff. The way he carried, the way he saw himself, the way he carried himself was so pristine that I, I ascribed much more than he was to him. People like that, see, you don't need any spirit to tell you that they will go far in life. Don't need anybody. That guy, when he left the organization, or in fact, the bank had a no conversion policy, meaning that we did not used to convert contract staff. This guy was so good that they bent the policy for him. He got converted, got promoted consistently. When he became, I think, was a banking officer, he moved on to another bank, and he became the head of the internal and com external communications team of the bank. From there, he got a job as a senior special advisor to the governor of Oshun State. From there, he, he, he got a job as an executive in, in, in Airtel. Now, yeah, he has relocated to Canada. <laughs> yeah. it, it actually did happen. But he got an opportunity there. So it wasn't just that he... Okay. Some, people leave, some people leave, and then they now find out, what will I be doing with my life? <laughs> you know, but he got, he got an offer, a very good offer over there. Right? This guy, amazing individual. But my point is, is, is the picture he, picture he saw here. It affected the way he carried himself and conducted his affairs. When I worked in HR, there was a gentleman who used to work with me. I still call this life. Life eh, is dynamical. His life is very dynamic. I was his boss when I was in Guarantee Trust Bank, this guy. But this guy never conducted his affairs just like a regular contract staff. Do you know what this guy's work was? was to file documents. Some of you will say, how ah, can they hire me? And all I'm just be putting paper. Now, his job was to file documents of every new hire we had in the organization. Let me tell you, in that problem is an opportunity. But if all you see is a problem, you'll be blinded to the opportunities. In that thing you are complaining about, there is something positive. But because all you talk about is negativity, you are not seeing it. Do you know the positive thing this guy saw? This guy said to himself, he said, wait oh, my job is to file the documents of every employee, whether it is low level or senior level. So this job affords me the opportunity to meet with different kinds of people. And he decided to bring 
you know, quality to that work and bring his personality and his ability to interact with people to the work. One day we recruited a general manager in the bank. By virtue of his job, he has to pass through Alloy. Alloy will go the extra mile to, re, you know, relate to people well. You say, hello, you know, it's such, such a pleasure to have you work in Guaranteed Trust Bank, you know. You know, and you say, sir, what's your name? My name is blah, blah, blah. And when he's done with the documentation, he will tell them, if at any point in time you have any problems whatsoever, do not hesitate to call me. I'll be more than happy to either help you or connect you with who can ensure that that problem is solved. Did we ask him to do that? His work was to file, but he brought in much more than he was asked. I'll never forget, the day we recruited that general manager, I came into the office and I saw how he was relating with this guy. And I was like, ah, hello, who is that guy? He says, oh, he's the new GM we hired. I said, did you know him before? He said, no, 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 you just met him, you know, today. I'm like, ah, connection. Aloy was recruited in Main Street Bank as an assistant banking officer. Second level, somebody who was a contract staff. Today is in Veritas Capital. It was in Unity Bank, Veritas Capital in Abuja. I called, I still called him, which day did I call Aloy? Uh, on Friday to say, guy, how far now? How can we do business? I'm telling you, that's life. Aloy is in a position of power. Someone who I used to give work, go and help me. Now I'm saying, what? Well, <laughs> Help my work now. <laughs> I am telling you that this is how life is. What you fail to realize is the work in your hand is an opportunity. It's an opportunity. It's an opportunity. Some of you, by virtue of this work, by virtue of this work, there are people that you have met if not that you were here, you would never have met them. It's a privilege. Something to be grateful for. But you have chosen to focus on all the negatives. You don't, don't you understand that focus creates blindness? I said the answer to your problem can be around you, but because all you see is problem, 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 problem. Solution is here. I'm here, oh. But you wouldn't see it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. We have to get to the point where we think about the bigger picture. I'm telling you, the bigger picture is not here. See, some of those people you are talking about anyhow in this organization, when you leave, who will become your customers? You want to set up your own business, who, who? Is it not the same people? Yes. <laughs> you, and this is true. I left banking to set up a consulting practice. I consult for the organization I used to work in. Who did I go back to meet? The same people. Say, ah, let me I'll, I'll do anything. I can't wait till I leave here. Just, I'll just resign. <laughs> you are doing yourself. That's the truth. We think we are doing the organization. You are doing yourself. Do you understand? So, so it is that. There is a mindset that you need to begin to have for you to excel in your career.